Happy Friday. Today we are making shredded chicken and gravy. Okay, this one's really easy. This is like a um, an instant pot slash pre pressure cooker meal. Okay, and this is my go to recipe when I just don't feel like cooking because a lot of times I just really don't and I just want to get it done, get it over with so that I can, you know, get out of the kitchen. Okay, so let's first start with prepping our meat. So I'm just going to add some paper towels down into a large bowl. I'm working with boneless skinless chicken thighs and boneless skinless chicken breast tenders. Now, if you know anything about my channel, you will always see me clean mummies, okay? But if that's not your thing and, you know, that's just not how you do it, then, well, feel free to skip this part here. So anytime I clean my chicken thighs, I am removing this slimy stuff. I don't know what it is, but I know I don't want to cook with that on my chicken okay and I also like to use my kitchen shears and just trim away some of the fats not all of it but just some of it all right and this took little to no time to do OK, and just as a general reminder, always, always, always disinfect your sink and, you know, everything that you touched while you were cleaning your chicken. You want to make sure that you clean those areas. OK. And moving right along, I'm using one green bell pepper. I'm also using half of a white onion and three garlic cloves. Now, this is not the standard way that, you know, you'd want to slice up your vegetables. This is just how I'm doing it. Y'all, I'm having a day where I do not feel like cooking. And when I don't, I just try to get it done. And I try to minimize the amount of dishes that I'm using. So I'm not using a no cutting board. And I'm going to sprinkle some complete seasoning onto those onions and peppers. So next up, let's now season the meat. I am going to use Slap Your Mama Cajun Seasoning. You can use any type or any brand of Cajun seasoning, garlic powder and onion powder. Okay. I also added a small amount of canola oil. Okay. And I'm just going to give this a quick toss. So now let's go ahead and season our chicken thighs. Okay, again, you're just going to use some Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. A small amount of oil and a quick toss. So we are going to add all of the chicken down into the pot. Okay, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little more Cajun seasoning and a small amount of complete seasoning. All right, so I will be using one can of cream of mushroom soup, a half cup of water. I'm also going to use just a small amount of better than bouillon chicken base. Okay, and I'm going to give this a good stir. Now, when you add these ingredients together, go ahead and taste your cream of mushroom soup. You just want to make sure that it's not salty. Okay, and you should, you know, you should be able to taste the flavor. It should taste really good. So let's add the cream of mushroom soup to the chicken. Now, I'm just going to spread it out just a little bit. Um, you know, after you add in that cream of mushroom soup, you don't necessarily have to do 
you know, what you see me doing here. However, if you do spread it out a little bit, try not to knock too much of that seasoning off of that chicken, okay? So you also want to add in a small amount of water. Anytime you are using your pressure cooker, you should always add a little water. So I am going to set this pressure cooker for 19 minutes and I'm going to let this cook on high. So here's what the chicken looks like at this point. Y'all, my house was just smelling phenomenal. Um, the chicken was really, really tender and I was ready to eat. Okay, but first I'm going to turn this broth into gravy. Okay, now if you are familiar with the gravy, you always need a thickening agent to get it thick, right? Okay, so the broth is your flavor and the flour will be your thickening agent. You can also use cornstarch if you prefer instead of flour. I used about three tablespoons of flour and I'm just adding some of this broth to the flour. Okay, give it a good mix. Then we're gonna add that to the pot. Tablespoons of flour. So now I just take my wooden spoon and just mix. Give this a quick little mix. So I'm just gonna use my spoon and I will break up this chicken just like this. Now you can use a fork, you could use a whisk, or you can use a spoon. Um, at this point here, your chicken should be really, really tender. Now sometimes what I like to do is I like to add carrots to this as well. And anytime I add carrots, I will just boil them separately and then I will dice them up and add them to the chicken, okay? But this is what the uh, the recipe looks like once it's complete. This one is quick, easy, and it is very delicious, y'all. You can add carrots, like I said. You can throw in some potatoes if you want to. And yeah, you got yourself a meal. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did, and I hope to catch y'all in my next one.